So now that we've learned all about a good research question and the six properties uh, in detail about what should be in a good research question, now we get to take a look at some real life examples and identify which of properties are missing from them. Should we start with about question two down the bottom here? Okay, question two. How do climate driven changes in the biophysical environment of the Great Lakes region affect the sustainability of wetlands? Mm. Okay. So, how about we start at the top with the theoretical constructs and their recognisability? Well, I think the theoretical constructs are quite clear. And in fact, I can pick one, which is climate driven changes. And that's a recognisable mm. term as well. Mm. That's mm. clear. So is um, the biophysical environment. And I guess the sustainability of wetlands. The of wetlands means that it's not just about sustainability in general, so it's a bit more specific. And the sustainability draws attention to the significance of the research too. Mm. That's really true. Mm. And it's a robust question, so mm. it's quite a complex answer. It's not answered with a yes or a no. Mm. I really have a question about whether it transcends the data though. I don't think it does, but what do you think? Mm. I wonder whether their inclusion of the Great Lakes region, that's obviously where they're going to be gathering their data from, Mm. Does that actually belong there in the question, or is it still a robust question if they just talked about the wetlands in general? Mm. It doesn't transcend the data. That's what's missing. Yeah, right. Yeah, probably. Yeah, okay. I'd agree with that. Fantastic. Nice. That one is done. Let's have a look at another question and identify the missing properties. How about number five? All right. Are the learning strategies used by law students at St. Louis? University School of Law effective? I think it doesn't even meet the criteria of robustness, it doesn't it? Because if you have a look, it's a yes, no question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And with this one too, I think we've got a problem with transcending the data by mentioning the name of the university and a specific group of students, they're actually missing that ability to transcend the data. Mm -hmm. And I'm sort of a little bit concerned about the theoretical constructs, actually. I think it's too broad the way they've written it. And law learning strategies seem to be too big and they're not linked to any sort of outcome, I suppose. So mm. things like case analysis skills of first year law students would make it more concise and contained and uh, I think doable as well. Mm. Mm. Much better question. Mm. So we're missing three properties from that particular question. That one's done. Nice.